good morning for our last day in Istanbul. So we have officially been here for about three weeks now. Not Istanbul, but Turkey. And uh, I gotta say, I love the country. Uh, I mean, Turkey is probably up as one of my top favorite countries we have been to. Not a huge fan of the food, which was kind of depressing. Uh, it was just nowhere near as like flavorful and spicy as we had come here expecting it to be. But everybody here all across Turkey has been so insanely friendly. The cities are pretty quiet, clean, and even Istanbul with a, with a population of 20, almost 20 million people, uh, it's quiet and clean in comparison with other major cities. But on to the negative, and the negative really only comes from Istanbul, not the rest of the country. It is a major city, and we aren't city people. So even when we stayed in other larger cities on the trip, they weren't like Istanbul, in that like it just feels like a major city. Like absolutely horrible traffic, extreme amounts of people, and uh, the prices in Istanbul are exorbitant and compared to absolutely anywhere else in Turkey. Uh, I, I mean, five times the amount for things that we were paying out outside of Istanbul. So definitely avoid Istanbul if you are doing any type of budget thing. Being that we are archaeological travelers, Istanbul doesn't really have what we're looking for in travel, especially considering that it's all uh, more modern history. There's only a slight handful of historical sites within Istanbul itself that are as old as we're looking to see. And most of those are just complete ruin because they've just been built over and built over by the Ottomans in more modern time. It's not until now recently that the Turkish government is like, if you find old stuff, it's got to be preserved. And they do an amazing job at that. So I give them props for that. But as I said, Istanbul is still a major city so when we come back to turkey istanbul will be just the flying into and fly it out out of point for us the last day we're here now we're going to be uh, heading to the museum of archaeology so this is probably going to be largely a museum video because we tend to spend at least a few hours walking through the museums like that and i heard that this is a good one so i can believe that considering turkey <laughs> uh, and then we're uh, heading to the uh, asian side for the first time that's about the rundown for the day so i guess i'll see you guys at the museum we have arrived into the gates of the museum of archaeology so this is where we are going to be for the next uh, probably at least few hours so uh, if you don't like museum videos i'd say click off now if you do hit that like button subscribe and i'll keep them coming so uh, i'll show you some of the best things we see in here all this stuff out here is just like, I guess you can call it the excess or the extra that they just fill in their little garden area with because they have so much stuff here. I think this is a better usage of it than uh, what they do at the National Mall where they just tuck it all away in their cellars underneath. Although the kitties in the garden don't want no loving. So uh, we're, we're drinking some coffee up and then we're going to head on inside.
doing much talking in here because I'm just gonna let the art speak for itself. But this place is freaking beautiful. They have so many pieces nicely displayed but not cramming them in and then they have beautiful murals in every room on the wall just showing or depicting life back then for the most part this is just going to be music and the art that plus there's several class trips coming through here so occasionally it gets stupidly loud so enjoy the music and enjoy the art The 3D animation of the stages of Troy was far better here than at the Troy Museum. Though similar, it was better executed here. And then I had never seen like an archaeological dig area of a museum like this. Along with like actual areas set up showing the process after the excavation, like the actual carbon dating and everything.
we have her wrapped up in the museum and got ourselves some iced coffees, which we quickly downed and uh, are heading on for uh, to the Asian side for some lunch. So I guess I'll see you guys over on the Asian side. But as far as the museum goes, it was a good archaeology museum. I probably put in a good long bit of it here in the video. Uh, but if I'm being honest, the small archaeological museum in Anatalia was better. It was a quarter of the size of this one. And the statues, sarcophagi, everything in that one was just so freaking impressive. Uh, so definitely, I cannot recommend that one enough. And it was in a previous video. Maybe I'll put a link up on here. Yeah. I mean, definitely check out this museum if you're in Istanbul and uh, we're heading on to the Asian side. We'll see you guys over there. We have arrived on the Asian side of Istanbul. Although 95% of this trip was on the Asian side anyways when we were over in the East and pretty much everything else we saw. But this is our first time being here in Istanbul and uh, I also have an extremely small amount of recording time left on my GoPro and my phone uh, because I haven't been dumping things onto my computer. So I'm going to show you a tiny little bit of this side and uh, then that will be it for the video. Yeah. 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 Yeah.